Greetings. Today I want to show you a new shenanigan, well not a new one, but a different shenanigan from last time, which is how to do accelerators in force. And for accelerators, you will need a couple of portal basics to understand exactly how it works. Because I not only want to show you how to build one, I want you to understand how they work. And for this you will need two basics. First, the fact that with portals, size matters in some way. At least in different size portals, they matter a lot. And the second basic I want to teach you is about orientation. Like, basically I want to teach you the two things that explain how, port how projectiles go in a portal and how they exit another. So first, let's go about how size matters. First, let's do a basic concentrator uh, input with three plasmas. A big portal inside and a smaller portal as the exit and a couple shields. Make sure I don't shoot myself. If you didn't know, of course, um, Portals go orange to orange and blue to blue. So in this configuration is fine if you want the lasers to exit the other part. So now I'll show you what, what I mean by size matters. So if I shoot the bottom of a portal, the bottom of the bottom of the input portal will go to the bottom of the exit portal, like this. Same goes for the center of an input portal goes to the center of the exit portal and same goes for the top. This means that whatever uh, proportion of the portal you have between the start and end will stay the same for the projectile that goes through. Any projectile that goes through a portal will stay at the same proportional distance from any of the two nodes. And that happens for any orientation as well. If you are paying attention, you can see that all three beams, one shot straight or about straight, are transported higher um, to the portals. So this one will go this much higher, this one will go a bit less higher, and this one will go about the same height. This is because this portal being shorter and they uh, starting at the same, at the same height, means that there will be some compression happening and so all the lasers will go towards the top here, towards this node specifically. And if I were to build a design like this and link them as such, if I was putting any laser at any height here, they would all be compressed towards this node at some point. At least if I were to uh, go through this loop multiple times, eventually all lasers would converge to this node in the exit. And that's one of the core principles of how accelerators work. Now, second core mechanic of accelerators is about orientation. It's mostly used for runes and I should have explained this better on the last video, but it will still be interesting to uh, understand one way to see how they work. So, let's say you have two portals just shooting straight like this. And so, uh, let's just also do an exit portal that will go up top. This. Orange to orange and blue to blue. So here it's not too hard to picture where uh, everything goes, especially since you have this helper arrow right here. But for the purpose of acceler accelerators, you don't get this arrow for a reason I will mention later. So whenever you have any other oriented portal like this, and you want to figure out at what angle they will come, like if I shoot downwards here, the arrow shows you it will point to the right, but if there wasn't the arrow, how could you figure it out? And the answer is quite uh, simple actually. Just imagine that this portal was at the same position as this one. And I also mean the ori orientation. Then it would basically be this portal that's just translated here. And 
what happens between this portal and this portal is some rotation along this uh, semicircle here, or well, quarter circle here. So this is a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise, and this means that any projectile that goes in will also be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise in the same direction. And this can work for any fancy orientation you like, and any, any range orientation of your uh, input shot. If I were to shoot like very downwards here, it will go to this direction, because you would be shooting like this, then you rotate this much, and it would go out like this. This works for any orientation, and it will be useful for later. Now let's build an accelerator, and see one specificity of accelerators. So, usually, you will mount for an accelerator, have two long portals at the bottom, and then two short portals on the top. And the reason for this is a bit of why I mentioned the size matters before. Because projectiles will uh, loop through this device here. So this is a loop device, I guess. And because for, uh, for projectiles that go in here, they will get compressed towards the center node here, because they go through the loop countless times, they will all go uh, in this spot right here, and also in this direction, because we will be curving the portals inwards, to make sure that the projectiles don't escape. If I were to be a bit more dramatic on the portal uh, curvature, it would be like this and like this, basically, so that the projectiles are forced to go towards the middle as well as compression. There is a second reason we build the long portals on the bottom here, is because the projectiles will be traveling downwards, and you want them traveling downwards because you want gravity to accelerate them at a steady pace. And so gravity will simply make them so fast that they will rush through your screen at once. Now let's build the input to this. And there is a good reason why I'm building the input portal so far here from the weapon. is because if I were to try and build it up front like this, uh, Fort has a safeguard in place to prevent you from shooting in infinite, infinite loops. Basically, there is an, a set amount of portal portals a projectile can go through in the previsualization, and if it goes through more than this, it will simply not shoot. But to circumvent that, you simply uh, shoot your weapon far enough so that the uh, ray cast doesn't fly. Okay, so here I shot at the top of this portal. Why? Because this, the top of this portal is the top of this portal as well. And you don't want uh, projectiles to go through this small opening, and I will show you. Because you will lose projectiles and also damage your, um, cons uh, ex your accelerator. Whenever you are repairing an accelerator, you want to do it like this and not touch the portal network because if you accidentally repair uh, damaged portals you might break your accelerator depending on where the projectiles are here we were lucky but sometimes it will simply break so be careful to not repair an accelerator if, if, if it has projectiles inside Alright, so now that we have projectiles stored and accelerating in this device, uh, we will want them to exit at some point. There are two ways to make projectiles exit an accelerator, and it will define the two main um, the two main accelerator designs. Also, I forgot to put this to curve the balls inwards. So the first one is to have a exit portal on the bottom like this and then let's just put a exit portal like here if you have been following also you will notice that this um this portal will make the projectiles go left if you do with the rotation you will understand why 
And the first type of accelerator is a brake design. And that is because you will uh, break this portal. You didn't see the project itself because they were too fast. The idea is that portals have extremely low HP. They only have 60 HP and one 20 mil shot is more than that anyway. So whenever you uh, delink this portal, the projectiles will cease to um, to go through it, and then we'll, they will instead hit it. Since they hit the portal, they will simply break it. And so all the, po the, all the projectiles will go through this exit portal, and then go to your target. This is the first design of Accelerator, the first one that was found. And um, it has some issues depending on the weapons that you use. For example, if you were to accelerate miniguns or snipers for some reason, then 60 HP is more than one projectile at this point. And so you will lose damage by doing this. Also, if you are accelerating things like orbital laser markers, um, they don't really do damage to the thing they are hitting. It is the laser that does the damage. But that means that you will basically just shoot yourself. Well, you can't, but you will basically just lose your accelerated charge whenever you uh, delink this portal. So this means we will need another uh, design of accelerator exit. And this one is simply to put a portal like this. Why is it angled like this? It's to be perpendicular to this strut right here. And this is why angle matters, is when you want to shoot this accelerator, you will want to make the projectiles drift towards this strut like this. So now this portal, if I were, if I were to be dramatic, is angled this way. Which means, oops. Which means that the projectiles will go here, 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 they will curve like this. And eventually they will hit this node, they will come out of this node and they will be ex exactly parallel, parallel to this strut. Which means that if you were to tilt your head 45 degrees to the left, they would enter straight into this portal. And this means straight out of the exit portal here. I will do a live demonstration of this. Here you can see the projectiles are drifting because of the counterweight. They are a bit slow, but you get the point. And they will exit exactly straight like this. Here you could see that the projectiles did not go all at once. And this is because we didn't give them time to coalesce first. If I were to wait a bit for all the projectiles to align to the center and have roughly the same speed, and then build the counterweight, they would exit basically all at once. This is strange. All at once, but... Oh yeah, I know when this happens. I built so much weight here that this portal was, was affected, so I'll just make a bigger counterweight like this. And now I can do the same here, and this should go at the right position. All at once. Perfect. And so whenever you want to re-put some other projectiles, you just reset your counterweight this way. This is pretty simple uh, to set up, and it works basically anywhere. You don't even have to be grid snapped, as long as you have the right counterweight so that these portals curve inwards, and those portals are basically straight or they can also curve inwards, you will have a working design. Some other designs use ropes to pull this node up, uh, I prefer this one, because it doesn't rely on having something up top to connect ropes to. Okay, um, so this design works whatever the type of, pro of projectile, and it's basically extremely strong this way. Now, onto actually using the accelerator to shoot someone. Um, basically, every single projectile has a lifespan of 60 seconds. This means that after 60 seconds, the projectiles will despawn, it will cease to exist, will be destroyed. This means that for some weapons, you might be able to shoot twice, some three times, or miniguns even more than that. But for 20mm, which is the highest DPS weapon 
uh, basically out of the whole game in terms of accelerator damage. Uh, you can only shoot twice because it has a very long uh, reload time and since it's also firing for uh, a long amount of time you will lose some time there. You can only shoot a 20mm twice before the, the first volley starts to despawn. So this means that if you want to be quite effective you can build 3 20mm like so. Shoot them at about the top part here. You might want to make some more defense here if you want. You can then group them and refire. If you wait too long, you might just lose some projectiles, so make sure to refire if you think you have uh, wasted some projectiles. Here, okay, the portal just died. It doesn't really matter. Now you have to make sure that you have your exit portal ready. Just make sure that they are connected in the right way. And now you can change your counterweight. And then see the damage. Yeah, sounds about right. This was only two volleys of 320mm. So, um, you can put more 20 mils if you want, like up to 6 is probably feasible. You can also, if you want, uh, switch uh, input portals to have even more. But yeah, that's a good amount of damage. You can build them, build accelerators at a lot of different places. Just get creative about this. A few things you cannot do with accelerators is first, you cannot accelerate howitzers. Even with the recent change in hitbox, uh, like recently, howitzers have some uh, change that makes them not collide if they are shot at the right time, basically. So this, they did not, did not collide. But if they stop colliding and then collide again, like they would by going through the loop, uh, they will destroy the accelerator. So. It's basically impossible to accelerate how it's series, sadly, at least not multiple at once. You can accelerate, accelerate one, which makes it basically impossible to shoot down. And I will do a live demonstration. You don't even have to accelerate this for a long time. You can just... This was not extra. This was not very really fast. Let's... Let's wait for longer. Whoops. Beta. Let's wait a bit. And then counterweight the other way. Yeah, this is pretty fast. This is going to, going to be very hard to defend against. You can accelerate uh, orbital lasers if you want, uh, at least markers. It is relatively useful, depends where you shoot, I guess, even though one orbital laser is usually uh, pretty devastating already. Uh, you cannot accelerate beams because they calculate all their um, all their hits at once. So you kinda can, and I mean, it works. And what it does actually is like. It makes them shoot at the same position, basically. So let me show you. Because uh, there was some update about the number of times a laser can uh, go through portals. I'm not sure this one will go through. It does, okay. So let's just go... Yeah, lags a bit, but it works. This is pretty useful for this, I guess, uh, but it doesn't really accelerate them since they are all already instantaneous. Uh, rockets and nukes are pretty useless to accelerate. Well, rockets are fine, I guess, but nukes don't really gain any speed anyway. And rockets, uh, they spread out a lot after they go out of the accelerator. And I think that's about it. Thank you for... Uh, for watching this, I hope you learned something and see you in the next Channel Again video.